Alabama Football Review is brought to you by Coca-Cola, Frito-Lay, and by Pony Sports and Leisure Incorporated. Hello and welcome to the Alabama Football Review. 28 to 16 was the score. Alabama over Southern Mississippi. Coach Perkins, congratulations on a big win by the Crimson Tide yesterday at Legion Field. Well, thank you, Mike. It was a, vi a big victory for our football team. I was very pleased and happy for our players. Uh, I think we had a lot of big plays. I think we played a very tough, aggressive type football game for 60 minutes, and we had to to win. We knew that going into the game because we had a lot of respect for the University of Southern Mississippi, and they were all and more than what we thought they were before the game started. But I'm just proud of our players for hanging in there and doing what it took to win. Let's go right now to the first half highlights. Nice cool day at Legion Field. Perfect day for football. It certainly was, Mike. And uh, I guarantee, you know, starting from the first play, uh, the last several weeks, you can't anybody say that we don't keep the games exciting, <laughs> you know, and uh, excitement filled uh, as far as the games go because on the opening kickoff, uh, we get a couple of people a little bit out of position and, uh, and blocks on the kickoff return here. And their freshman with the great speed, Alexander, just takes it right down the field, down to about the five-yard line. And uh, they do a good job, like I say, but we have a couple of people that get out of their lanes a little bit and get blocked, and he just hits the creek. Excitement the wrong way. What were you thinking at this point when he... Well, I was that? thinking, oh, no, you know, we've had this happen to us four times during the course of the year. Uh, a big play on the on the first play of the game, so to speak, but uh, most of it's been offenses, and then we get uh, something that we've been working real hard on all week because we had some problems with the kickoff returns last week at, at uh, LSU, but, uh, you know, our defense comes in and stops in four plays with a great goal line stand, which, uh, which really sets the tempo, especially for that first half of our football team. What does this do to the whole team to watch the defense like this, just not let them in the end zone here? Down, well, it's a big, uh, it's a big confidence factor. It's a, it's a big, uh, it's a big lift for the entire team. You know, uh, you get somebody to return a kickoff on you, uh, 95 yards up the field, just bam, bam, and it happens so quick. And then the defense goes in and uh, puts on the show that they did with a great goal line stand. It's a, it's a mighty big lift for the entire uh, football team. And then we take it over offensively. This is Ricky Moore with a, with a good run, getting us out of the hole. Uh, I think we. March the ball down the field 95 yards in some 12 or 13 plays, which was a uh, real good execution uh, on the offensive part. And, uh, you know, we played very consistent right here in this in this uh, drive uh, as far as taking it down the field, scoring the touchdown. Seems you were mixing the plays, a little run, Mixing pass. it up, running pass real well. And uh, Walter Lewis is doing some real good execution. We had some great catches. Uh, Jesse makes uh, two or three uh, real good catches in this drive. Uh, we hit Thornton Chandler here on a little pop pass on the blitz. Uh, two of the linebackers uh, inside were blitzing, and the Walter alertly sees it and pops it in there to him. Uh, Kerry Goode makes a couple of good runs in this uh, in this first drive. Uh, but we're mixing the running pass here pretty well. Here's another pass, uh, third down situation pass uh, to Jesse Benders. That's three already in this one drive for, for Jesse. Uh, and then uh, if we hadn't slipped or, or tripped a little bit here with Ricky Moore, he might have gained some more yards right there. And here we go into the end zone uh, with Ricky taking it in. So what could have been early disaster turns into an early 7-0 lead for Alabama out on top. And the next kickoff, Terry Sanders takes care of things himself. Well, I wish he had done this in the first one, but, you know, you don't ever know how it would have turned out. Uh, had they started on the 20, they might have taken it down the field. Cool, you really don't know, but I know that uh, I'm glad the first one turned out the way it did. Here's Duckworth uh, sprinting out here on a little rollout bootleg type thing, hitting his wide receiver out there for about eight yards. I tell you, he's a dangerous quarterback. Running the option, he does a real good job for him, but the biggest thing he does is put pressure on you from the standpoint of uh, here's a, he hits his uh, wide receiver again out there, he's on the football, and we very alertly, Scott McRae very alertly, uh, gets on the football. Now can we take advantage of it? These are the type of things that you really like to take advantage of when your defense turns the ball over. Here's a great Jesse catch. Again. Great catch by Jesse Bender. Uh, this is a big third down play here, I believe. But uh, I was about to say, can you take advantage of it and put the touchdown on the board? We did not. This is a third down situation here. Walter Lewis very alertly 
gets rid of the football to keep from saving more yardage, and then Malcolm Simmons punts it away. Back on the guy. Were you overall pleased with the play of the defense today? Uh, yes, I was, Mike. Uh, I think we made a lot of big plays on defense. We did not give up the big play uh, uh, to their offense uh, with the defense. We made them earn pretty much everything that they got, and that's what we want to do. And we came up with, uh, you know, two or three uh, turnovers, not even not counting the last one there, uh, there at the total end. But they did hit a few plays on us, but they've got a good football team. And this young man right here, Duckworth, their quarterback, is going to make people forget Reggie Collier pretty quick because he's a very talented young man. <clears throat> Here's a little trap off the option up inside, and he gets uh, three or four yards. We do a good job defending that. <clears throat> we move now to the second quarter, and this is their touchdown drive here. Well, uh, this is the touchdown uh, touchdown drive where they where they take it down the field on us and and, and put it in. This is uh, C. Jarnett, they're, they're a real good running back who has been a little bit hurt and banged up. They come in, we were expecting a little bit, uh, the, the fake field goal here, and, and they, they get it in there on us on a big play for a first down. And then he comes out here with the option of the Jarnett. The Jarnett was 77 yards on the game. And they take it in for the touchdown. The Jarnett taking it the last five or six or seven yards there. They kick the extra point. I think we got a 7-7 seven, seven ball game. We do, but Alabama would come back later in the second quarter. Here we take the uh, kickoff, and uh, they really come down. They're still all fired up. You see all those people. Uh, uh, Joe Carter gets uh, knocked out there, gets a little uh, minor concussion on the play. And we're still not getting a lot of yards there. Ricky Moore stopped for two yards. Very seldom you don't stop Ricky Moore for two yards. And then we hit uh, Greg Richardson over the middle, I think, coming up here for a big play to get us out of the hole using three wide receivers, which we haven't used a lot of this year, but we'll probably get into using a little bit more of since we've got three really fine ones. Malcolm Simmons has to punt it away on a third down situation. Gets a real good kick. Real pleased with his kicking overall all day. One time he uh, loses one off the side of his foot and gives them a good field position. But overall, I think we have a good thing out of, out of Malcolm Simmons. Their offense takes it over again. <clears throat> this is what this young man can do right here to hurt you. And he gets out of there running with it. Uh-oh. Knock the ball to lose, and I think we're going to have Emmanuel King. What's the great effort right here of Emmanuel King out fighting, just wanting the ball more than their, than their player did. And that's all it amounts to. Coming up with a big play, turns the ball over. We hit the trap up in there to Ricky Moore for about seven or eight yards. Once again, Ricky Moore over 100 yards for the day, I third straight week. Uh, third or fourth straight week, I'm not sure. But he had a great day. Here's Walter Lewis. We ran the option a little bit more. Someone asked a question there, uh, did we run it a little bit more? Uh, I think it probably looked like we run it more because their defense was, was forcing Walter to keep the football uh, on the option play. In other words, they're dic they were dictating that Walter uh, run the football a little bit more than, than usual. Here's a great run here by Lenny Patrick. Looks like he stopped. About four or five of their guys are on him, and he just keeps those legs moving. <clears throat> Gets out of that trouble and gets about three or four more yards out of it. Looks like he was for there. no gain, get down yeah, inside the that's five. That's right. Here he is going up inside again, gets, uh, gets it down to the two-yard line. We're knocking on the door again. Quarterback sneak uh, for a first down. We come up uh, about third and a foot there. We sneak it in. They pretty much stop uh, Ricky Moore there on that play, on this play also. And then we give it to Lenny Patrick uh, behind the block of Ricky Moore here diving over to the touchdown. Is that designed for him to leap over the line well, you'd, there? You'd like him to leap over the line. It's a lead back play where the full back or a back is blocking on the linebacker. And then it's an option if the back with uh, the ball carrier uh, can leap over the line. But to make it, we'd like him to do so. <clears throat> Come back out with the option again. Warming defense. Warming defense. That's the thing that we'd really like to get back to. Randy Edwards got a hand on that punt. We take over a real good field position here on the minus 42-yard line. <clears throat> they do a good job here, but Walter Lewis, one of his patented runs, getting out of the grasp of somebody back there. I'm glad we don't have that in the grasp of like the National Football League. It would really hurt our football team because Walter does such a great job of that, of getting loose from people. Walter with a net gain of 98 yards. This just before the half to make kick a field goal, and the halftime, the score is 14 to 10, Alabama on top. 
There were a lot of outstanding performances yesterday, but two players who really stood out were Scott McCray on defense and Ricky Moore on offense. And we'll talk to them when the Alabama Football Review continues. Stay tuned. It's good to be back in Alabama, where the number one sport is football. And the number one soft drink is Coca-Cola. When plotting a game, I think of what each player brings to the team, like Frito-Lay. They're part of our team because they're helping us develop our athletes by contributing $50 for every point we score to our athletic program. Now, great team members help each other out. So when I'm working on a game plan, I enjoy a Frito-Lay snack, and that's what I call teamwork with good taste. The Frito-Lay University of Alabama Challenge for Champions Frito-Lay is the maker of regular and nacho cheese flavored Doritos brand tortilla chips. Nice car. Person to work wonders with a bank loan. I'm from Central Bank. I hate well, at Central, you can get a five-year new car loan. A five-year car loan? That brings your monthly payments way down. Oh. And at Central, no matter what you're borrowing for, you save money if you pay early. No. If you just got a car loan from another bank, maybe you're being taken for a ride. Oh, pardon me, sir. <laughs> At Black's, you'll find menswear of superior quality because we know there's no substitute for excellence. Chamois by Kingsridge is one example of Black's commitment to quality. Its buttery soft fabric tailors easily and keeps its shape. Our Black Knight suit, made exclusively for us, is another example. Ideal for the man building an exciting career. Black's, for the man with more in mind. More service, more fashion, more value for your investment. It pays to shop for quality at Black's. Alabama's fashion standards since 1856. Our player guests today are Scott McCray, junior inside linebacker from Huntsville, and Ricky Moore, junior fullback, also from Huntsville. Gentlemen, welcome and congratulations on a big win yesterday. Scott, you led the team in tackles yesterday. You recovered a fumble. I imagine that game had to have been uh, the best in your career since you've been at Alabama. Well, it sure was, and I was very pleased to play the way I did yesterday, and I'm looking forward to playing that way against Boston College. What do you think about the defense as a whole? Do you feel that that was the defense's most complete game of the year? Well, we uh, only let them have one big play, so I think from that standpoint, we did really well. And, you know, with that, you know, uh, reverse they had, and other than that, it was all right. We did play well. They took the opening kickoff and ran it back 96 yards. The first time you run out onto the field, they've got the ball inside the 10-yard line. It was a great goal line stand. So what was going through the defense's mind? Did you talk to each other when you were running out on the field at all? We were just going to try to keep them out of the end zone, and you know that's how it worked out. But they were running up the middle, running right into us, and uh, we just stopped them. Ricky Moore, over 100 yards for the third week in a row. Congratulations on that. It uh, just seems to be your year. Is there any... Uh, well, you can explain your success and your all the yards gained in the past couple of weeks. Well, I just think it's this new offense, and it's really let me, you know, show a lot of my ability uh, running around the end and running draws, and just you know the other guys that are back there with me, you know, just they let me, you know. Uh, Southern Mississippi is the fifth best defense in the country. You know they're that high up in the standings. You knew that going in. Uh, did they play like that? Are they the toughest defense you ran up against all year? They were a real physical team. There was probably, you know, more hard licks out there today. I know I got my bell rung about five or six times. That's the most that, you know, any defense that I've played against so far is really, you know, they came after us. And, you know, taking nothing away from their defense, they're a real physical team. Well, talk about the offense for a moment. It seems that uh, uh, you're looking for consistency. Still, there were a couple of times yesterday that the offense may have bogged down a little bit, and uh, I know in the week off, that's one of the things you'll be working on. Well, I feel like that we went out there and we protected our offense pretty well. Um, we had a couple of bad plays where a couple of guys jumped off, but that was just, you know, they were so anxious just to, you know, get after them. Was, they were coming after us pretty well, and we was talking to one another 
machines and everything, and it was just, you know, really a dogfight out there. How much of a lift did it give the team to see Scott and his defensive teammates make that goal line stand right there at the beginning? I know you, you watched as your heart went in your throat as uh, you saw them run back that kickoff return. Did that really give you and the rest of the offense a lift when they shut them down there in four plays? Well, that's what we were planning on doing, trying to go out and set the tempo. But on the kickoff, they returned the 96 yard, and the defense went out there and stopped them. You know, uh, it was a great goal line stand. And uh, that set it right there. And so we went out there, you know, to take the ball back down on the other end, and we accomplished that. Scott, about you and the defensive players in this football game, uh, you have to feel good about your offensive teammates, too. They're leading the Southeastern Conference in scoring, and certainly that takes a little bit of pressure off of you to have such a great offense. Sure does. You know, we uh, we play best when we're not out there. You know, and that helps us having a good offense. And you know, the best defense is a good offense, and that's they sure are a good offense. And they're keeping us off the field, so we appreciate that. Well, good luck to the defense against Doug Flutie and Boston College in a couple of weeks. Thank you. And we'll be back with more of the Alabama Football Review in just a moment. good to be back in Alabama, where the number one sport is football, and the number one soft drink is Coca-Cola. For real refreshment, Coke is in. We at the University of Alabama have a history of great champions, and we're proud of it. Frito-Lay is helping us to build future champions by contributing $50 for every point we score to our athletic program. Now, that's what I call a great team. Frito-Lay and the University of Alabama working together to build great champions. The Frito-Lay University of Alabama Challenge for Champions. Frito-Lay is the maker of Lay's and Ruffles brand potato chips. Panasonic invites you to step ahead of your time to a Panasonic video camera that focuses automatically and adjusts to light, even low light, to a stereo video recorder that records from TV or from life with forehead technology for jitter-free effects from slow motion to stop motion. Step ahead of your time to a Panasonic Omnivision video system, more than just slightly ahead of our time. Alabama's up 14 to 10 as we start the second half. Alabama will receive and unfortunately not able to get a first down out of it. Well, we, we received the kickoff, Mike, and the uh, opening of the second half in most of the ball games this year, we've been able to come out and do real well. Uh, when we receive the kickoff, take it right down and score, you know, and that's what you'd like to do. That's how you'd like to start the second half. Uh, but we failed to do so, as you, as you mentioned here. We had a good kickoff return, but we have a penalty. A clip and penalty that brings it back. We start about the 20 yard line. Uh, we run three plays and fail to pick up on a third down conversion, and Malcolm Simmons comes in to, to punt it away. And they get Lips a big there, return. Return, uh, return man does a great job here. We miss a tackle down there right where he caught it. And, uh, and then he gets a, a real good return out of it, putting their offense in great field position. And they start off with just a lead back play here to D. Jernet. Uh, lead back uh, play following his fullback up in there, and then they come back with a little trap off the option look. Lead back play back to the other side. A little bit like a sprint draw look. A uh, similar play uh, that uh, Penn State runs quite a bit. Here's the option here. They pick it up to be doing that right here. Uh, I think that was for a big third down situation. Now here's the third down here. So they pick it up, come out with the first down. He tries to sprint out fast and to do a real, real good job of containing him here and making him go up inside and make him settle for a field goal. 37 yarder. Alabama's lead is cut to one, 14 to 13. And they're playing tough right now, Mike. They've got a good football team. They've got great talent, uh, similar talent as the LSU as a week ago. Here we can't handle the kickoff. Uh, Lenny Patrick uh, thumbs a little bit and very alertly gets on it. We come out. Uh, uh, here's a little trap play to uh, Ricky Moore. Uh, pass out in the flat to Thornton Chandler, and he does a super job. I think this is about a third down, three or three and a half situation. He does a real good job of getting it upfield for the first down situation. 
Mr. Walter has to run out of the pocket and does a real, real great job every time he had to run out of the pocket in the game. He got five yards. Southern Mississippi came into the game ranked fifth in the country in defense. Were you impressed after the game was over with the way they played defense? Yes, I was impressed because they played for 60 minutes, Mike. I think they played tough. Here's Bailey. I think he's the best lineman that we have faced thus far this year without question. Just great ability. Uh, but, yes, I was impressed with the master the game. I still think they've got a fine football team. Uh, they gave us quite a few problems in there, more problems than any team that we have faced this year so far. And that's one main reason. They've got great, uh, some great players. He's meant for punt returner again. Finally, we get down and, and make the tackle on him uh, after he's gained uh, three or four yards. They come out, spin out pass, and hit Mitts out in the flat uh, for a big uh, 12, 13-yard gain in the first down. Come off a little play action fake and bootleg and hits the tight end. This is a big third down situation for him here uh, to keep the football and sustain this drive. They give it to D. Jarnett up through on the lead back play again uh, for about six. And come off on the sprint out, hit him out in the flat. Uh, <clears throat> that was a third down play and uh, they had to punt it away to our, to our offense. I really thought this ball could be down. Well, we thought we was going to have to punch it out. We had our free tight end offense uh, ready. Uh, but we come out of there, start off with a play to get us out of the hole, the bootleg, and uh, Preston Gothard uh, turns around and makes a real good catch on the ball there. Right here is where we need to take it down the field and score. <clears throat> Running the screen there, and I think that was Bayless that got his hands on it. Here's probably the greatest run that uh, Walter Lewis made all day. Because we're on the bootleg, we've got a pass pattern, it's a run our pass type deal. Uh, we talked to him early in the, in the day and the night before, hey, if you got an open field, run it. But this wasn't exactly an open field. He had to maneuver around two defensive people and still get it upfield, 16 yards for a big first down. It's trouble it's trying to tackle Mickey Moore, you just can't tackle him. One guy can't tackle him, and very seldom are you going to stop him for two yards. His option again, they're, they're making our quarterback keep, keep the ball, which... Uh, the ball's in uh, Walter Lewis's hands. It's, uh, it's in pretty good hands, I think. Here's the, here's the touchdown run of over 30 yards. Kerry Goo, he's just going to be a great one. Uh, one of the greatest that's ever come through here, I think. Does a real good job there at the end and makes a great effort of getting the ball in the end zone. Real, real good job. That was a real good drive, but the key to that drive was that second down 15 where Walter Lewis ran on the bootleg and, uh, and picked up the big first down. Alabama's in front now, 21 to 13. Their offense takes it over again. They come out with a little play action off the, off the option look. Now they're bootlegging out. <clears throat> Besides the run with the football, there's Randy Edwards. Randy Edwards just had a super day. I think Randy Edwards, Scott McRae, John Hand had a real good day, I think. Uh, Vincent Elder, I think, had a good day in there. Manuel King. Uh, Quite a few of those guys had a lot of fun uh, during the course of the day. We're in the fourth quarter now. Here's a touchdown if we can just get the ball to Joey Jones. Run it off a little option fake, and they were they were coming with a strong fake to blitz. And Walter had to throw the ball just a little bit quicker than what uh, what he wanted to. Now we're giving it to the big guy, Ricky Moore. <clears throat> and we give it to him right here, and we lose the football. A little bit careless carrying, carrying the football. This could have turned out to be a real, real critical uh, turnover right there for us. Big play by Lewis Lipsfield. Big play indeed. Come off the reverse, uh, gets it down in the scoring territory for him. <coughs> but it was a real big play for him, down to about the 11 or 12 yard line. You had to have been pleased today with the way the defense rushed the pass, right? Well, the defense really kept a lot of pressure on him, Mike. Uh, whether it was on rollout or whether it was dropping back. He's rolling out. He just can't block Emmanuel King. You know, here's the net trying to block him, pass protection wise. But uh, Emmanuel King, you just don't block him. You don't block Emmanuel King or Cornelius Bennett. Uh, we make him settle for a field goal here. Uh, I thought at first it was uh, short or underneath the bar, but it was one of those line drive shots and it went right on through there. We mishandled the kickoff here. Well, we're having more trouble with a kickoff and kickoff return. We finally get on the football, <clears throat> toss it back to Kerry Goode, trying to get it out of here, and get it out of this minus territory. Now we come off the bootleg again, <clears throat> get Preston Gossard, same pass as we got out of the hole with earlier a little bit. Makes a good catch on the ball here. 
little halfback reverse that we run. They do a good job defensing it. We've got our people out in front of it, but they do a good job of defensing it. So here's Ricky Moore on a little toss play. Third down here. Third down conversion. Sure his hands on the football team, probably. Preston Gossett, he just took his eyes off the ball. He was going to run with it before he caught it. But it was a big third down situation. You just don't do that in that situation. 21-16, to 16 and Southern Mississippi still has time to come on and win the football. Plenty of time. Plenty of time in the game for them. Now they got Alexander in there giving him the football a little bit. They try to reverse the Rand, uh, Randy Edwards side. No, no, <laughs> no such way. thing. No such thing. Randy Great day. He's, he's not just a, uh, an intense, tough player, aggressive player. He's a smart player. That's shown right there. And here we're getting after the quarterback pretty good. We're getting after We're going to get him here in just a minute. We're going to find him. <clears throat> putting some pressure on him, and I think we gave him quite a few licks during the course of the day. On fourth and 22, they had the punt, and here comes a good return. Here comes Greg Richardson. Now, we, uh, the reason he didn't have uh, quite a few good returns is that we were rushing the kicker uh, several times during the course of the day, and uh, when you see a lot of the opposing church down there and tackling the punt returner, that's a pretty good indication that you're rushing the kick and not returning it. But here's a, <laughs> a big play right here on the option. Walter Lewis is forced to keep the football. He cuts it back up inside and bears it back outside to pick up a, a real big gainer to put us down in scoring position. 38-yard gain down at the five-yard line. First and goal for Alabama. Real big play. Very consistent, high-productive ball game for Walter Lewis. And Alabama would take it on in. A lot of excitement. I like to see him get excited and show a little emotion like that. Here was a little toss play to Kerry Goose. Then we toss it to Ricky Moore, and he puts it over, over the goal line for the, for the touchdown. And with the extra point by Van Tiffin, the score is 28-16, to 16, Alabama out on top. Big touchdown at this point in the game. And they play catch-up football, but the defense uh, held them. Here's the last play of the game. Last play of the game. Like those tight plays right there. Intercepted. Like those tight plays right there. Intercepted for Britton Cooper. Congratulations for Coach Perkins in the final. Alabama 28, Southern Mississippi 16. Alabama's next game will be on national television the day after Thanksgiving against Boston College. Next weekend, an open date. Going to give the players a little time off. We'll basically use uh, this open date just like we did the last one a few weeks ago, Mike. I think it comes at a, at a very good time for us. It gives us an opportunity to take a little breather, give our players a couple of days off, and then when we do start back, we can work on some of the things that we need to work on to prepare for Boston College. Again, congratulations on the win over Southern Mississippi. Thank you. See you after the Boston College game. The Alabama Football Review has been brought to you by Coca-Cola, Frito-Lay, and by Pony Sports and Leisure Incorporated. Coach Perkins Wardrobe by Blacks of Birmingham, Alabama's fashion standard since 1856. Transportation furnished by Budget Rent-A-Car of Birmingham. You don't give up a thing at budget.